Salutations, fellow gamers. Uh, today we are looking at new class. Just released uh, for me today, you know. Uh, the video will get out a little bit later. But we're looking at the brawler. Uh, I made a stout axe brawler named Gunther. And we're going to check it out. Um, I know it's quite a controversial class. Lots of people say it breaks the lore. My my immersion when I see a man punch a dragon to death. But that's not necessarily... Can I like turn off all hints? That's not necessarily I'm worried about. Um, so this is also the first time I'm seeing... This is my first stout dwarf. This is the first time I'm seeing uh, this uh, quest line. Let me just eat my rations real quick. Squish that bread. Eating slowly. Reluctantly finish. <clears throat> so and also this is so this like quest chain here would be you know relatively new. Like I, I wouldn't have seen this before. Or or okay. I, I haven't seen too much new that. content. Even the rats taste better. And I was actually wondering if the quests are if the quests are, you know, if there's been, if they're improved, they've been the same. Do I have to actually sit? Um, and it's been a while. I, I have a, uh, my main character is a Bjorning. So it's not like I haven't played in that long. I, I had a hunter back in the day, which I really liked. And then I played Bjorning, which I arguably like even more. I had a lot of fun with the Bjorning, um, but I'm not really... I haven't done any, anything past Moria with him. I'm kind of stone of the tortoising, just kind of chilling in Moria, having a good time. Um, which is essentially as far as I got back in the day, you know. So this is something that uh, I think I'll like let my brawler level up past Moria. I don't know if I'm going to tortoise him too much. But I also might play him with some friends. Oh, I'll see what the friend group says. Because there was like vague interest in checking it out. So either I'll level him with them or I'll, you know, just kind of play through the more late game content with this. Um, low strike, dexterous hook. So this adds one, adds one, cost three. Right. I know there's a bug. It says it. It says your metal resets to zero instead of three, which is kind of sad because that, that means. Is all then? Nothing else for the order to hear. Because that means there's going to be a lot of. Uh, the the start of combat will be a bit slower than intended. There's some flavor in this quest. They're making it lie down not just on the ground but on the bunk bed too. Lose the guard. This is a familiar voice, probably familiar to people following the quest. Level two. Oh, you know I want a bunch of rat. Uh, is everybody turn on auto looting? Hey, I've already done the tutorial. Let me. Would it change my hotkeys too? That'd be a real shame. It won't be in graphics, but what would it be under? Um. I mean, maybe UI settings. If checked, you'll see world tools if it's instantly sure. 
Enable cross compare item tool steps, that's fine. Where is like just like disable tutorial hunts? There we go. Shut the tutorial hunts. Get out of here. And then Show the skill queue, why not? I never had that on. Enable quest guide, get out of here. We are vanilla old school. No quest guides around here. Miscellaneous. Um, always loot all. Love to see it. Always accept automatic quests. No, I like to see what I'm getting into. All right, let's accept. Let's start punching a maggot. So that's a skill QA. Eh? I, I never had that on. The cooldown on this move is basically non existent. Alright. Uh, skill Q, we're gonna bring it down here. Labor the dungeons of Beard Door. Damn, there's, that's a lot of quests. If I could start combat with the overhead smash, dude, that would be the way to go. Lots of people in Rivendell, I guess, for the new, uh, a lot of people at the last homely house, I imagine. Felding, defeated rat. So we are in the world right now. We're not in the tutorial. That's interesting. It's a signature. I like the overhead smash, although it's just basic damage. I, w I wonder if that gets upgraded at some point, because it would <laughs> be such a shame to have overhead smash be literally just damage. The next bender attack deals damage. Lows if low strike is used, Rain is vulnerable. Okay, so there's like combos. Do they both stack? Can I like get both effects going at once? Okay, so I used both. He's got the minus critical hit chance, which was... Only most recent set of effect is active. Okay, that's good to know. That's what it said there. I wonder how many combos we're gonna get into, cause I, cause I, it doesn't look like the most complicated class. It looks like um, you just, you just punch things. Like I don't know. So I, I, I am interested in it though, just cause it's like I'm gonna be honest. I was, I became interested as soon as I heard somebody say you can knock things back. Like just punch them so. F Punch them so hard that they go flying. Now that sounds cool. That's what I want to do. But I'm sure that's not going to be a thing we learn anytime soon. Stout, Stout Axe does seem the most appropriate for a brawler. I couldn't really see myself playing like a Hobbit brawler or even like an elf brawler. Like. I don't know. No, no disrespect to all the elf brawlers out there, but you know, I want to be a dwarf. And I want to be a thick dwarf, so that's where this comes in. Okay, so this may render its target. Not, not a huge fan of that may. Like if I'm doing a setup just to have a chance. Yeah. 
I'm doing bonus damage. Also, only having one item type is... It's fine, you know, I have my gauntlets. There's nothing wrong with that. It is, uh... It'll be a non-issue once I have my legendary items. Which is also kind of a shame, because, you know, you would think, uh... I, I, I do love legendary items, legendary weapons, but it's such a high quality slot, you know, like, like once you just use legendary weapons, you're no longer going to find a really cool sword you want to use, because you just like, well, that's, I'm using my legendary sword, so it, it like gets rid of one of the coolest item slots, which was just always like a fundamental issue, but you know, there's really nothing you can do about that. Um, I think it'd be cool if your actual, instead of just wearing like the battle gauntlets, it was like your, your glove slot. That, that'd be something unique, but that would require way too much, like, it's too late now, and it's fine, it doesn't really make a huge difference. Uh, what are all my quests? Collect Sullied Plates. I'm missing one silly plate somewhere. Break the fallen rubble. Is that guard? Collect the crude iron bars. Oh, there must be more over here. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy's getting reprimanded. I'm not gonna look at him. Yeah, I think someone's playing a brawler up there. I hear some more punching. But yeah, as far as the uh, the controversy of. I don't want to play a stout axe. No, not a stout axe. I don't want to play a brawler because my, my immersion is totally ruined. Just, just let a man punch. Like, what, what can you say? You know. If you think it's cool, it's cool. If you want to punch a dragon off a cliff, just let me do it. So carry the barrel. Collect a bucket from. The, deliver a barrel of the armor to your garrison captain. I mean, is that you over here? Or are you? Well, you're not Yurik. So it's probably upstairs, actually. It, the guy will probably literally be called Yurik Garrison Captain, not be a formal name. Yeah, no. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the immersion break in. I uh, I just figured if it's fun, it's fun. We and like I said, honestly, it didn't like look that cool. It just looks like punching, but I'm hoping I get you know pleasantly surprised here. I, I have a hard time believing it's going to be cooler than becoming an actual bear and like. Hitting people with bear swipes, as opposed to... Just being a... A mortal. Hitting people with your fists. Like, it seems like a downgrade, strictly speaking. But... But yeah, I mean... I'm open-minded. The combo system... You know? Something I haven't really, uh... The metal and the combos... I haven't, I haven't played a focus class since my hunter, so you know. Let's see how that goes. I just had the rage as the bear, which honestly, the rage at this point, when you're playing Bjorning, I, I, I forget about it. I don't remember that's a thing. In the Washington tub.
Why do I have so many quests? This is insane. Oh, well, this is probably the whole... Where do you start in the starting areas? I guess you start... Like, do you start in... Comb? Do you start comb at level 1? Or 5? I don't remember anymore. Inspect the clean plates. Look at that. The plates look no cleaner than when you collected them. Hey, you know. That's just how it is around here. Do I have to deliver the plates now? Offer water. Oh, okay. Yeah, when are we going to get the jailbreak going? That's what I'm waiting for. Also, I'm not sure I see another soul doing any work around here. Like, hello? Let me just, <laughs> I'm just gonna travel to a personal house and get out of here, you know. Your prison can't hold me. Um, and yeah, for, for the record, this little first impressions video, as you can see from the length of the video, it, I'm not planning on it being too long because as I've mentioned, I don't know <clears throat> If I'm going to play this character just solo, go as far as I can, or if I'm going to take this opportunity of starting a new character to get the uh, you know the boys on the line, because that was a concern of like, hey, I would be kind of willing to play, but I don't want to start new. It's like, well, now I'm starting new too, so so I'm planning on not getting anywhere past, let's say level 10, you know. And that's even probably based on the how long we plan on playing. Uh, it might be closer to like a level 8 or something. Which I am pretty aware is like, we'll get a, just like a little taste. A little taste of the, uh, the brawler. We're not going to have all our skills yet. Heating iron. I am concerned the, the Bjorning... I was able to solo a lot of really difficult content, like dungeons and stuff. Um, I'm worried that I won't have the self-sustain to do so, so I have to like kind of see that. Does the brawler have enough self-heal to sustain through these dungeons? We got in our cape here. A nice little cape. Heat the blade. Not what I would call a heating animation, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Where's the tub? They put a lot of. Uh... <laughs> he's, he's weirding me out. They definitely put a lot of, uh, these are some of the most intricate quests I've seen. Step by step, the whole process. What do we got here? A new cost four power adds one metal. A strong punch that generates metal. Sinister setup. If a sinister cross is the most recent setup attack, okay. We'll tear up any available innate strength buffs twice instead of once. Okay, so it doesn't do anything yet. I need to unlock some innate strength buffs. What else? Is, how strong is that punch? Twelve to fifteen. Fourteen. Uh, interestingly, str a strong punch is my weakest punch. Wouldn't you know it? But it is what it is. We're not gonna worry about that. I think there's actually. Aren't there different types of setups? A quick hook, a 
have swift punch. I I I think it says somewhere they added it to the tooltip. We'll have to learn the difference at some point. Labor the dungeons of buried gold. Oh, okay. So once I give the uh, water away, I'll be done. And I'm level four, so that'll probably get me to level five, finishing these two quests. As these tutorial areas are meant to get you to. But yeah, Comb was like, go kill wolves. This is uh, a lot more flavor in these quests here. Present yourself to Zorith. Okay. Yo, Zorith, I'm on good behavior. Let me out. I punched 10 rats. Three maggots. Fix my watch battery. Ascend the twisted stair and present yourself to Mouth of Sauron. Jeez. <laughs> Took a step in a pretty... Pretty crucial direction. It's, that guy's gonna put me at a... Uh, no way I don't go full... Full dread on that one. You know, I haven't, like like I said, I haven't played the, anything past uh, Lothlorien slash Moria. I wonder what you fight, you know. Because cause you can't you can't kill Sauron, that's, that's not part of the lore. But now there's the mouth of Sauron, do you get to fight him? I mean, he died in the movie, but he, it was also the extended edition, you know. So does that count? What have they done? Let's take him if I, background as the shadow of Mordor lengthens across Middle Earth, the enemy orders the release of a mysterious prisoner sparking infighting and revolt in Barad-dûr. That was a meme, right? It's now we never Gunther. You have one dread. All of this can't be us, can it? Why do the orcs fight amongst themselves while our brethren make brigades? Perhaps we have found some good fortune in life. Are you, why are you, uh, are, well, you got some Stockholm Syndrome? Why are you so, uh... Just get out of here. Quit asking why, we just gotta go. Don't you look at like a Shaq Lab? Is it, what kind of relationships is this? He's like, oh, good friend. Good friend, are you okay? And then this guy's all, if I could still move my arm, I'd slice your throat. Ashdod coughs and Blackwell leaks from the corners of his mouth. The sneak was on his way out, like the high up wanted. And then Ulock came and swinging it. Is he still talking? Oh, he's talking. The sneak was on the way out, like the high up wanted. And then Ulock come and swinging knives around and it spooks him. Next thing I know, one of us gets bit. Another one takes a tumble off the stair. You lot are easy to put down, not him. And we couldn't even, if we wanted to, we'd be in the pits. Is this Frodo? Beard door. I mean, that name seems familiar. The, the name of this place. We were at each other's throats in an instant, and we forgot all about your little revolt shack lab. Always goes this way, not anyway. I feel it get out, but it won't take long to round him up. Even if you find a way out of Lucifer's, you'll never escape more. Is that compatible? Ban or oh, Rune Keeper sound? Ban gauntlets? Yes, of course. I thought it was like a band in stone, like a. It's a stone Luigi. He's bad. Okay, so. Oh. Let's punch our way out of here. He's battle weary, guys. 
This is a level 120 zone, but he's battle weary. Okay, let these let these tank. He's not taking any damage. I was gonna say, what if Lethe dies? Can he fail the instance this early? Reach level five without being defeated in battle. What was the max level fifty? That's the hope. We gotta get the highest. No, no, I think it was level twenty. I, I mean, honestly, it's not that hard anymore. But we gotta not. We gotta not die. Keep our title. Oh my god, is that... Is that... The Precious. Yo, it's freaking... God. God. What was that thing? What was that? The Dark Lord's prisoner? Well, no wonder he wanted to be rid of him. Is this cannon? It's a good thing you drove it off. I guess. Yeah, where are we in the timeline of, of events? Half him behind a brazier, Lethe peers into the distance. Uh, we're not far now, but I fear the worst. Is I mean, honestly, I might as well call this uh, Stout X first impressions because we we're spending a sweet amount of time just doing the intro. But that's okay. We could split it up into two parts. <laughs> Yo, look at that. Get the gray hair. I think that might just fool them. Yeah, Lethe, you're sending me to my death. <laughs> oh no, my eyeballs. What did you see? Is the way clear? Massive Yurik and a wound stout X on the causeway. Uh, person pretending to be a prisoner, you might fool that Yurik. If not, well. Uh oh. I don't know if Lethe's gonna make it out of here. This guy doesn't seem to be the one to allow prisoners. Hey, Ha, did you think the Great Eye would just let you walk out of Lugbur's shack glob? Oh, he's talking to him. Okay. I was like, ah, I haven't found out. You orc, why is that one not in chains? Where you get a knife? I don't have a knife. He's an elite. Let's do let's do second skill before we use our overhead smash. Find where we've actually run while you can. All right, I'll see you later, Letty. Or who is that? Lethe. Oh no, not Gollum, dude. I fled from the Dark Tower all the way to the furthest side of Middle Earth possible. Many unfamiliar lands but more never seem far enough behind. Among the blue mountains. Yeah, he made it all the way to Thorin's Hall. That is some dedication. Like you, you, you just don't stop running. I ran for 40 hours. Or whatever Forrest Gump says. Yeah, we in there. In Nogland. That was quite the story. I think it all took us quite a quite a surprise. Mm. 
Nagli's got some first world problems. It's a celebration of two. Our dower hands. I thought they were. They were for Sarnor or whatever. And we're going to Thorns Hall. Look at this. The you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about right here. Dwarfs versus stout axe dwarfs, dude. Just dwarfs but chonkier. <laughs> I'm you but stronger. This is Rathrow, not the advanced prince player. Oh no. Ivar and Scorgrim. And Nemesis and Elite Master. Or is it Nemesis and like Ultra Nemesis? Talk to Scorgrim. Size flash and R3 to glow. You are far from home, aren't you? Of your steward. We only got like one in one tutorial quest for my redemption arc, so how does how's this gonna go? We'll reclaim Angmar, and I say yes, sir. I cannot be on the side of evil. Dude, let me be on the side of evil. Please. Follow me and seek for new glory. I can't just say no to him. Oh no. How do I have a say in this? Oh, and no one's listening. Okay, I guess he just, like doesn't personally care. He's talking to, like the group of us. Cause I'm just like out of here, dude. I thought it was gonna be like I thought he was asking me personally, hey, what are you gonna do? And I'd be like, uh, be on the enemy side. You seem a fine dwarf, but you must understand we are also a lost people. A mask of her brothers and sisters. Fleet of long beards if you must, but if you do, know that I will not hesitate to raise my axe against you. Very well. Something troubles me about Score Grim's words. We come from Gunther. Perhaps the voice of a stout X might do more ease than the unrest of the Avatar. Is there a stout? Or, oh, I, I forget what he said. I got confused. Travel to Thorns Hall. I suppose this is as far as I'm to go.
they have a hope aura. Nah, not dwelling. Ah, uh, what a mess they have left behind. The incarnate Scorgrim and Ivar on the road to Thorns, and that Scorgrim claimed that the Longbeards massacred the Dower Hands. I believed him. A massacre eye, you could call it that. But it was the work of Ivar the Blood Hand, not the Longbeards. Indeed, it was Ivar who roused Scorgrim from his long rest. You nod. Yes. Now, I've never heard the clan name you mentioned, these stout axes, and you're welcome to throw as long as you were fish the long beards. Hell yeah. Redemption arc complete. I mean, I guess it's just like evil recognizes evil, you know? Specialization needed. <laughs> Durable tank? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Males from time. Uh. Let's see. Pummel. Every one second. Do 20. Oh, yeah, look at that. Channeled skill. Drive a devastating fist into your enemy's armor, leaving it broken and ineffective. Reduces target armor. Minus 193? I mean, that's gotta be infinitely cooler than anything you got on the left side here. Come at me, bro. After honing your methods in uncast tavern brawls, brawlers are known to challenge all comers when at time or all together. PBAOE taunt? Can't throw abbreviations at me. I've never. I don't know what a PBAOE is. I don't know what an AOE taunt is, but PBAOE. Sees the training, you know, heart in the body, also blah blah blah. Just incoming damage. Well, obviously, we could look at the tank tree at some point, but not what we're playing still, though. Um, increase the bonus from battle flow by 50 percent. 25 percent devastate damage, 25 percent life damage. Cool. When you parry or evade, they attack. They deal damage to their attacker. That could be cool. Do like a high, high parry, high evasion build. Um, I, I I have to learn what a lot of this stuff is. I'm kind of working backwards. Okay. It is time, I think, for you to venture back Novice, into the world. Novice milestone contains a suit of armor, a suite of armor. Contains a suit of armor. This is actually sweet. It contains a suite of armor and weapons for a Sour X adventure. Perfect. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Dower Hand companion Nagli is planning to depart on a journey of his own. Alright, guys, we're going to cut it off there. Um, I messed with my inventory for a bit, wandered around Thorwin's Hall. Nothing too exciting. Um, and then when we get back last time, we'll be doing some questing, some early game questing to like level 10 or so. And getting a better feel for uh, how the brawler kind of scales up. Uh, thanks a lot, and uh, be sure to check it out. See ya.